Tonight, we have a rare look inside the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima, Japan. Nearly three years after the earthquake and tsunami, the plant is still emitting radiation and likely will be for years. Seth Doan went inside to see the painstaking cleanup. Three miles from the plant, roads are still closed. Radiation levels here soar 100 times higher than normal. To protect ourselves from radiation, we suited up like the 4,300 decontamination workers here. Once this was the heart of a radioactive no-go zone. Now it's safe enough to spend a few hours inside. The building on the left, it is a unit four. TEPCO, the company that owns the crippled plant, is still struggling to deal with the disaster. All four reactors are still emitting radiation. But TEPCO has made some progress. This is what TEPCO wants us to see, the heart of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. Following the earthquake and tsunami in 2011, a hydrogen explosion tore off the roof of this reactor. At the time, Reactor 4 was not in use, but that explosion sent debris and chunks of concrete into this pool where the nuclear fuel was being stored. We were able to watch the delicate and dangerous work of removing some of the 1,500 radioactive fuel rod assemblies. If the rods break, they could release more radioactive gases. I've read an analogy that this is like removing a cigarette from a, a crushed pack. Take that analogy, TEPCO engineer Masayuki Ono told us, and imagine that it's like the cigarette in that box is lit. So you're saying it's, it's even more difficult than that? I think so. Ono told us they've removed 15 percent of the fuel from reactor four, but it will be far more difficult to retrieve fuel from three other reactors that melted down. Those are so radioactive that the technology to dismantle them does not exist yet. TEPCO injects hundreds of tons of water daily into the reactors to keep them cool. But groundwater is pouring into the damaged reactors and has to be pumped out and stored. They can't build these tanks fast enough. An additional 400 tons of contaminated water needs to be stored every day. That's as much water as the average American household uses in a year. At the end of our tour, we were checked for radiation exposure. In four hours, I received the equivalent of less than a chest X-ray. Seth is in our Tokyo newsroom tonight. Seth, what's it going to take to clean this up? Well, quite a bit of time, Scott. The cleanup operation is underway 24 hours a day. It's projected to cost upwards of $100 billion and could take as many as 40 years to complete. Seth Doan, thank you, Seth. Great job.